In this video, I will continue to talk about the method of ordinary least squares. As we discussed in the last video, according to this method, we have to choose beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat such that summation of ui hat square is minimized. And by this summation of ui hat square, we mean u1 hat square plus u2 hat square plus and this goes on like this. Now, I'm not sure if I told you this before, but this ui hat, which we are calling sample error, this has one more name. We can also call it residuals. Okay, so the ui hat, which is the sample error, can also be called residuals. So if you take a look at this expression that we have, over here, we are squaring the residuals and then we are summing them. So we do have a term for this expression and that term is residual sum of squares. So the summation of ui hat square can be called residual sum of squares. Some professors and some textbooks also use the term sum of squared residuals. Okay, so you can either call it residual sum of squares or you can also call it sum of squared residuals. If you call it residual sum of squares, then the abbreviation is RSS. And if you call it sum of squared residuals, then the abbreviation is SSR. I feel more comfortable with this. So I'm going to call it residual sum of squares. Okay, so basically in the method of OLS, we are choosing beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat such that the residual sum of squares is minimized. Now see, to figure out the formulas for beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat, we have to do a minimization exercise over here, which is going to involve math. So the first thing that we should do is that we should try to write a mathematical expression for summation of ui hat square. So if you recall, we have already discussed the sample regression equations. So there are three of them. The first sample regression equation that we have is y hat equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi. The second sample regression equation is yi equal to yi hat plus ui hat. And the third sample regression equation is yi is equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi plus ui hat. Okay. And we are going to focus on this third one because we need a mathematical expression for ui hat. This third equation has ui hat as well as beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. So let's focus on this one. So from this equation, we can write that ui hat is equal to yi minus beta 1 hat minus beta 2 hat xi. We are interested in summation of ui hat square. So if ui hat is equal to this, then the square of ui hat is equal to the square of this. And then we can also apply a summation sign over here and we can apply a summation sign over here. So the summation of ui hat square is actually equal to this part. Okay, so this is the mathematical expression that we have for the residual sum of squares. And now let's understand how are we going to choose the values of beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat such that this mathematical function is minimized. So over here, we have to minimize this function with respect to beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. This implies that beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat are the choice variables. Okay, so in this particular exercise, the choice variables that we have are beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. Now see, this might sound a bit weird to you because in your elementary calculus, the choice variables used to be x and y. However, over here, we are doing this exercise for a sample data. So we will already have the values of x and y. So they are not the choice variables. The choice variables over here are beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. Okay. So now let's spend a minute on understanding what do we mean by this choice variables. See, let's assume that you are working with this scatter plot. So let's say you collected some sample data and this is the scatter plot of that sample data. Over here we have the x variable and over here we have the y variable. Now if I ask you to fit a line over here, then maybe you can work with this line. Or you can also work with let's say this line. So this is the second line that you think would be a good fit. Or you can also say that maybe the line of best fit is going to be something like this. Okay. Or you can also say that maybe the line of best fit is going to be something like this. 
so I have drawn four lines over here, red, black, green and orange. Now see how many lines of best fit are we going to have? Well, we are only going to have one line of best fit and that's what we are trying to figure out from here. And this is what I mean when I say that beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat are choice variables. Basically, if I give you a particular sample, there are so many lines available that you can choose from. I'm not saying that there are many line of best fits. The line of best fit is going to be one, but there are many lines available from which you have to choose. And your beta 1 hat and your beta 2 hat value is going to vary depending on the line you choose. So that's what I mean when I say that beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat are choice variables. And when we do the minimization exercise, so whatever the procedure is, I'm going to write that procedure over here. But as soon as we do that procedure, then we will get only one value of beta 1 hat and only one value of beta 2 hat. So when we do the minimization procedure, out of these four lines, the three lines will go away and we will only be left with a single line, which will be the line of best fit. So this minimization exercise, which I'm going to write over here, this is going to give you only one value of beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. Okay. And this is something which I want you to keep in mind. Basically, before you start the mathematical procedure, you have multiple options available for beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. But once you complete the mathematical procedure, then you will only get one beta 1 hat and one beta 2 hat. So once I start the mathematical procedure, I will treat beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat as constants. Because once you have started the mathematical procedure, there is only one value of beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat that you are going to get for a given sample. Okay, so let's see what is the mathematical procedure that we are going to have over here. So let me write these steps over here. So we have to do the minimization exercise with respect to beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. First, let's focus on beta 1 hat. So the first step is that you have to partially differentiate summation of u i hat square with respect to beta 1 hat. Okay, this is your step number one. Your step number two is that you have to put the partial differentiation that you get from the step number one equal to zero. So you put this equal to zero and when you solve this from here, you'll be able to get some expression for beta 1 hat. Okay, so that's your second step. And your step number three, which is actually an optional step, so the step number three is that you have to show that the double derivative with respect to beta 1 hat is going to be greater than zero. See, the reason we are doing step number three is because we want to choose beta 1 hat such that summation of u i hat square is minimized. So whether this beta 1 hat that you're going to get from step number two is minimizing the function or maximizing the function, that is something that you get to know from your step number three. So the sign of double derivative tells you that whether the maximization has happened or whether the minimization has happened. If the sign of the double derivative comes out to be greater than zero, that means this beta 1 hat that you have got is minimizing the function. And if the double derivative turns out to be negative, then that would mean that this beta 1 hat that you have got is maximizing the residual sum of squares. So because we want beta 1 hat to minimize the residual sum of squares, we want that the sign of the double derivative should be greater than zero. But this is completely an optional step. Many textbooks and many professors don't even talk about it because the method is constructed in such a manner that it is definitely going to satisfy step number three. But just for the completion of the procedure, yes, there is a step number three. Okay. And we can apply the same procedure for beta two hat as well. So when we are looking for beta two hat, even then the step number one is going to be that we are going to partially differentiate summation of u i hat square with respect to beta 2 hat. So this is the step number one. In the step number two, we will put the partial differentiation equal to zero. And when we do this from here, we will get an expression for beta 2 hat. And once again, the step number three, which is an optional step, is that you figure out the double derivative. So you figure out the double derivative and just check that the sign of the double derivative is greater than zero as that would mean that this expression that you have got for beta 2 hat is minimizing the RSS and not maximizing. Okay, I hope this much is clear. Now see, as you can see from here that there is going to be some partial differentiation involved. So I'm assuming that you have some idea of partial differentiation and chain rule from your basic math modules.
So I'm not going to explain the chain rule and partial differentiation in a detailed manner. I will try to provide you some steps for the partial differentiation to make it easy for you. But it would be preferred if you already have some knowledge about the partial differentiation. Okay. And if you are comfortable with partial differentiation, then I would suggest that you try this mathematical exercise on your own and then watch my next video to see if you got it right. Okay. So that's it for this video. In my next video, we are going to do this mathematical technique and we will try to figure out the formulas.